I'm still fairly new to YouTube, so I didn't expect to already start getting video requests, but I'm really happy to see it. And thank you for like the participation and for commenting. This request was to talk about my personal favorite products from each of the kind of key skincare categories, but I've probably broken the rules a little bit. I think the request was for like a top 10, but I've definitely included a lot of extra categories just because I have so many products I love. To give you a little bit of background and context, I am pretty new to social media like I've been on Instagram for a few years now and YouTube just a couple months but I've actually been like skincare obsessed for so long like just before I turned 16 and I got my first job my first paycheck went to Clinique like that's the first counter I went to I started exploring quite young and ever since then I've just been obsessed with textures and trying products from all the brands so I really try not to limit myself to a certain category I don't really have any prejudgments about luxury you know drugstore Sephora brands anything like that I like to try them all and I am comfortable splurging like skincare is an area in my life that I invest a lot but it's just because it brings me a lot of joy like it's a joyful experience so yeah I've tried to make sure this list has a bit of a combination of products but there are some luxury brands included just a heads up with this list I've tried not to overthink it and I've just gone with the products that came to mind like immediately I'm sure I'll watch this back and feel like I forgot something but that's just the way it goes and of course there are tons of other products from tons of other brands that I still love a lot this is just my peak list at the moment and one last thing before I get into the list to explain my skin type and like skin concerns. I'm fairly oily and very easily congestion prone, but at the same time, my skin gets dehydrated very quickly. Like I actually went and had a biology research um, facial not that long ago, I think in September. And like the results were all about dehydration when they did the scan thing. So that's something I'm focused on. So really I'm looking for balanced moisturization, textures that are quite weightless, but still effective in looking after my skin. Also, I do have mild rosacea that comes through sometimes, which I'm sure you might have seen in some of my videos. It's relatively under control. It's not super active or super aggressive, but it does mean that I can be easily sensitized. Having said that, I do not avoid fragrance. I do not avoid alcohol, sulfates. I love all of those ingredients. It's all about a balanced formula. This was actually a much longer introduction than I intended and I'll go through a lot more detail because I'm planning to film my actual skincare routine as like a schedule. So hopefully that will explain these products a little bit more in back. Okay, let's get into my top product. I guess it makes sense to start off with cleansers. Now I have broken down this category into a few specific like category favorites, but if I had to pick one like all time favorite ride or die desert island cleanser, it would be Build Skincare Be Washed. I like love it with my whole heart. It combines all my favorite qualities of a cream cleanser, but still has a micro foam that develops. So it's foamy, but creamy and so delicate and just cushions my skin. And I really feel like it looks after it so, so much. But importantly, it also still makes my skin feel clean. And I can use this cleanser by itself without double cleansing. And it does a great job of removing my mineral sunscreen. Moving on to more specific cleansing categories. And I'll start with an oil cleanser. I would say my all time favorite oil cleanser is the Shu Uemura Antiox Cleansing Oil. It's super fluid and feels super light on the skin so it's not one of those very nourishing cleansing oils but it just it just emulsifies so well and cleanses it off really easily i think it truly sets the standard for a good quality cleansing oil the brand used to be sold in australia at david jones but the but sadly they disappeared from retail here so i can't easily buy it anymore in its place my i guess next favorite would be the crave makeup rewind i love that this is quite a unique texture in that it's like a jelly oil and and it has this subtle like grapevine fresh scent that I really enjoy. It's a little bit more conditioning on the skin than the Shu, than the Shu Uemura oil, but still feels very light, works really well, and it's just fun to use. Now for cleansing balms, I actually wouldn't say I've discovered like a holy grail favorite in this category. I use a lot of them, I buy a lot of them, but nothing has sort of stood out as a true, true favorite. Probably the closest I've come across that I thoroughly enjoy using would be the Deviant Blue Tansy Cleansing Concentrate, and also the two cleansers from La Belle Lune, and of course the Then I Met You Cleansing Balm as well. These are all really great options, I'm just not sure they've reached like holy grail status. Next is cream cleansers, and this has probably become my favorite cleansing category. 
My top, top favorite would probably be the Biologique Recherche Lay VIP 02. This is just such a cult, cult classic product. Um, I especially reach for it when my skin is feeling a little bit more sensitized. Um, it does have a bit of a moisturizing property, so it leaves a little bit of like a cushiony layer on the skin, but that's just really useful when my skin is going through a bit of a harsh time. Now, Biologique also released a newer version called Lay SR, which targets oily skin a little bit more specifically. So if you still want like a smooth softening conditioning effect without leave, without noticing as much residue, then the Lay SR is a great option as well. Now, if I'm allowed to have like a sub category favorite. I also really enjoy like milkier lotion style cleansers. So these are still cream cleansers, but they're much thinner. And I'm absolutely obsessed with the La Mer, the calming lotion. This is much fresher feeling on the skin than the Biologique, and it is just a much lighter and more fluid texture. But as the name suggests, my skin just feels really calm after I've used it, and it pairs really well with like a micellar cleansing water as a toner. If this wasn't so expensive, I would definitely use it much more regularly, but it's more of a treat in my routine. So gel cleansers is also another category agree that I don't know that I've found like one standalone favorite. There are a bunch that I enjoy a lot, but I'm not sure there's like a holy grail in this category. It's kind of where Bee Wash would fit, I would say. Lately though, I've really been enjoying the Bioderma Gel Moussant, but I also really love the Saatchi Cleanser, the Cypher Cleanser, and also the Josh Rosebrook Cleanser. And these are all quite unique gel textures. They're not like your run of the mill style. Um, and I think that's why I enjoy them. They're just a little bit more special. But yeah, I wouldn't say I found one that's like a diehard favorite. This was a really long list, so as you can tell, I really enjoy using and trying cleansers. Moving on to toners, and yes, I do still believe in toning. I love a toner step. As I mentioned at the start, my sort of history of skincare starts with Clinique, so they very much instilled in me the need for a toner. I don't care what anybody says, I think there's still a required step in a skincare routine. The only thing that I've changed is that I probably don't use a toner, like marketed as a toner specifically. I tend to use a cleansing water as a toner. My favorite in this category is hands down the Kogan Doe Cleansing Spa Water. This is an obsession of mine. I find that sometimes sunscreen and just like the day gets stuck, you know, in areas that I don't expect. So like around my hairline, ears and neck. So when I'm cleansing, I actually often miss these areas and I use this cleansing water to ensure that I'm getting to everywhere on my skin. Plus this particular one has a really great skin calming effect, which is why it's a standout favorite. Now, if, you, if you're not really into the idea of cleansing waters as a toner, I also really love to use the Suwa first care in a toner step. For milky toners, there are a bunch in this category that I enjoy as well. But to pick a favorite, it would probably be the Violette FR Boom Boom Milk. It's really the only one that I've found that has a properly like skin soothing, skin calming property at least on my skin. The mist on this can be a little bit aggressive if you do splits, if you do spray directly on your face. So I often suggest using this one in the palms and then kind of pat it. Now the best acid toner and probably one of my favorite all time products is of course the Biologique Recherche Lotion P50. I'm a fan of the current formula of Lotion P50, not the 1970 version. I think the new one works a lot better. This is for sure a desert island product and has just done so much to correct and kind of rebalance my skin. I very much consider it like harmony in a bottle. Now, while we're on the topic of acids, although I predominantly use Lotion P50, I do have a couple of key standout products in AHA, BHA separately. Lotion P50 is a bit more of like a combined acid. My favorite standalone AHA product, specifically on lactic acid, would be Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I just consider this to be a facial in a bottle. So whenever I have like an occasion coming up or I just really want to rehydrate and replump my skin like properly, then I will reach for good genes. It's just a truly like excellent. And my favorite BHA salicylic acid would be the Build Skincare A Gel. I just love the texture of this. Generally with salicylic acid, they feel a little bit oily or a bit slippy. But this is such a weightless light gel texture and, and, it, and I just absolutely love it. I use a gel regularly when I'm shaving because my neck area is a huge problem for like razor burn and bumps. But then I'll run it across my whole face usually once or twice a week because it's just 1% salicylic acid. So it definitely is okay for me to 
work back with lotion P50 and even tretinoin. Now moving on to essences, and this is a category that I love, just I just love so much. Like I probably spend, waste the most money in this category. I had a really hard time picking just one, so I've chosen two. The first one would be Gotham Easter Essence. I love that this combines a lot of the highlights of K-beauty with Chinese herbal medicine, plus a lot of just the classic skincare ingredients. This is a powerhouse product that hydrates my skin just so well, but also has an abundance of antioxidants. Um, and I'm also obsessed with the La Mer treatment lotion. This has a little bit more of a refined silky texture, so I think they've just nailed the application of this. It's also packed with antioxidants, but a bunch of like skin calming ingredients too, so I kind of just into to change Gotham Easter with La Mer as I feel. Now moving on to mists. And my favorite mist would probably be the Sunday Riley Pink Drink. This is such a packed formula. It's basically like a serum in a bottle, but I feel like it's also one of the only mists that actually like works. <laughs> Um, to me, it has a really great skin calming effect, but also subtle refinement over time. So to notice the refining qualities, you probably do need to use it for a good four to six weeks. But the actual like skin calming effect is pretty noticeable straight away for me. Moving on to serums, and I'll start with like a general hydration one, and it's the Saatchi Pro Resilience. Now this is now this is a lot more than just a hydrating serum, which is why I love it. There's a bunch of peptides, a bunch of antioxidants. It's designed with sensitized skin in mind and just has a really great like skin soothing, calming effect. And I also really like that this is a niacinamide free product. So it has the skin calming qualities with like glucosides and other ingredients. But since I have niacinamide, which is an ingredient I love in a bunch of other products, it's good to have one that is just free of that so that I'm not overdoing it. Now, having said that, niacinamide is still one of my favorite skincare ingredients and a must include in my routine. I would say my favorite niacinamide serum would be Do Deliverance. This is also skin soothing with a bunch of peptides, so it sort of ticks the boxes of well-aging, anti-aging. But a very, very close second favorite would be the Sunday Riley B3 Nice Serum. The Sunday Riley Serum is also super soothing and is just packed with antioxidants, so I love to use that one in the morning. Now, next category, next category is vitamin C and not my, not one of my personal favorite ingredients. I don't really deal with pigmentation that often. Um, and I think probably generally vitamin C is not this amazing ingredient for hyperpigmentation in it by itself, but I still like to use vitamin C for its antioxidant properties. It's a gold standard ingredient for a reason. My long, my long standing favorite would be the Naturium Vitamin C Complex. I love that this uses gold stabilized vitamin C mixed with sodium ascorbyl phosphate, and this combination just works really well on my skin. It's a nice and gentle serum because of the gold stabilized ascorbic, they're able to actually use a higher pH base. So it's way less acidic than you'd normally find. But for those that want a pure ascorbic acid serum, I truly think the Poems from the Lab Future Focus is a standout product. The amount of like thought and care that's gone into the production on this formula, but even the production of the packaging is just, it's just unreal. Like this is like an artistic formula. Now peptides have become a key category for me and I'm absolutely obsessed with the Naturium Multipeptide Advanced Serum. The texture is just so nice. Like it makes my skin feel bouncy, soft and plump. Moving on to retinoids. And of course there are several that I could talk about in this category, but really I'm a ride or die fan for retinoids. So there's not much else to say here. It's just tret all the way. Eye care is a category that I absolutely love using and exploring and I have several favorites. I would say overall, I believe in having a skincare wardrobe. So I tend to have a product suited to every kind of mood my skin is in. A recent favorite has been the go-to decreased retinal eye serum. This one's great for just smoothing the eye contour and helping with fine lines. If my eyes are feeling a little bit more red and irritated, then I usually reach for super Super egg, and I think this would be a great option if you have puffiness. If my eye area is feeling really dry, then that's when I'll reach for the BioEffect serum. Plus, I still very regularly use my do eye masks with Oracle as like an eye treat. 
So yes, very high maintenance, but part of this is just enjoyment in having options. Now, moisturizer is the next category and I could talk about this for days. You know, that I have so many moisturizers that I use on a situational basis, but if I had to pick one and if there were, and if there was only one, it would be Build Skincare B Cream. I am obsessed with this. I consider it a perfect moisturizer. It just has this pillowy texture and it feels like a cloud on my skin. Just, like amazing just amazing. Next is sunscreen and I'm not a sunscreen fan in the sense that I hate testing them. A lot of them break me out. I, I just don't like it. So when I find so when I find one that I enjoy, I'm going to stick with it. And my current favorite and now long-standing favorite is the Airy Day Mineral Mousse. Yes, this is a zinc sunscreen, so sadly it won't work for everybody, but with sunscreen, you know, I, it's just so personal. I have to use just what works for me. It also has translucent pigment, so it helps with a little bit of skin blurring and I also find that it kind of fills in my pores a little bit so it slightly creeps into the makeup category which is a great cheat to just get more perfected skin. It feels a little bit oily upon initial application because it is quite silicone heavy but once it dries down it's just a velvet matte like skin look which is what I'm which is what I enjoy about it. Now for lips and with lip sunscreen I just really like the Mecca to save face or I'll even just grab like an SPF chapstick if I if I need it. For general lip care lately I've been really loving the Chanel Hydro Beauty Lip Serum but I only got that a few weeks ago so it's probably too early to call it a, to call it a favorite. Outside of that I have a tough time choosing between the Make Lip Reset and the Touch I Kiss You. Both of these are exceptional. For face oils I'm not like a big face oil user but I do love the Build Skincare Care Bee Balm and, that, and this is basically a gelled squalane oil. It kind of replaces all the face oils that I would normally use in my routine but it also replaces things like Vaseline and Aquaphor and I use this as a slugging balm very regularly especially on tretinoin nights. If you want a specific face oil though I do think the Vintner's Daughter is worth its reputation you can tell it's just a super high quality oil and that is just a great one to use. Now for shaving, I won't go into too many favorites here, but I really enjoy the Kills Razor Burn and Bump Relief. This is just out of stock so often, so I'm not sure what's going on with it, but I really love it. For masking, I have a few different categories, again, depending on the situation. When I need purifying and to kind of clean out my pores, I usually reach for the Dr. Dennis Gross Sulfur Mask. When I want like a bit of an indulgent experience and something that like nourishes and takes care of my skin. I'll reach for the La Mer Revitalizing Mask. This has been a long-standing favorite for years and I kind of consider an SOS mask. For moisture and just like hydration, I love the way the Chanel Le Lift Pro Mask feels on my skin. The texture is a little bit unusual because it kind of sits on the surface of my skin, but in some ways that's what's creating like this protective, super hydrating barrier. Uh, I just, I love it. <laughs> and when my rosacea is flaring up and I feel a lot of heat in my skin, I actually tend to, I actually tend to reach for the Augustinus Barter Cream Mask. This is a bit unusual because I think Augustinus is a bit of an overpriced brand, but I just really love this product in particular. I don't think it has any actual cooling ingredients in it, but it just seems to take the heat out of my skin very quickly and also calms down a lot of the redness that I might hold in my face overnight. Now, I think this one gets quite a few mixed reviews online because the idea of a cream mask probably implies that it's very nourishing and very moisturizing, but the texture of this is actually very light. So it's not going to be like intensely moisturizing I use it mainly as like a cool down mask okay so I think I did a really bad job of narrowing down this list of favorite products I don't even know if it was helpful at all or interesting to watch but the main message I want to pass on is that skincare is just truly like a joyful experience for me and I very much love having a wardrobe of options I don't think I went into detail about any products specifically so yeah if you have any questions about them I'll answer them in the comments and I will see you in the next video